Alicia Gibb of NYC Resistor. NYC Resistor is a hacker space where we learn, share, and make things. And tonight I've curated a show on the Arduino microcontroller, and it's called Art, Design, and the Arduino Alinea. So the Arduino microcontroller is a small computer uh, that people do a lot of physical computing with. So they plug in different things like sensors, LEDs, and it has a little tiny chip on the board that you can program, and it's programmable through USB, and it has a fully integrated IDE, which makes it really easy to program. It's just one download, and everybody can program it and throw their art stuff out to their community. Let's check it out. Uh, these are uh, Luminet jackets. Uh, it's a Luminet project from Germany. Um, basically, each one of these LEDs is an Arduino uh, and an RGB LED, uh, and they're all networked together. So what happens is that different sensors or these buttons inject uh, stimuli into the network, and then it creates kind of an organic pattern, uh, and that makes them blink in different colors. My name is Oscar Torres, uh, and I'm a New York City-based artist. Uh, what I do is I like to hack toys, like in this case I hacked a, a little bump and go toy. So I took out the top, um, then I built a robotic arm on top of it and made it into a painting robot. What inspires me um, are uh, artists from the past, so uh, Jackson Pollock, uh, William de Kooning, um, then uh, artists like uh, Dali, you know, there's a lot of them that really inspired me. So this is Jacoon, he's an art bot. Um, he's composed of a, a lily pad Arduino, which is uh, the brains of the project. Uh, he has a radio controller called an XP, and uh, the XP is how he communicates with a computer. So there's a computer and a video camera involved. The video camera is installed above the robot so that it tracks its position on the canvas. Hi, I'm Rafael. Uh, this, is my, this is my Twitchy. And it's a robot that I designed that uh, uses a, a modified version of the Arduino as its brain. And uh, it's right, right here. Here's another copy of its brain. Uh, you can reprogram it easily using the Arduino environment, but it's specifically designed for uh, controlling servos. And it's durable. Hi, I'm Becky Stern. This is my piece, Flying Diamond an embroidery piece that uses a lily pad Arduino, which is a sewable microcontroller, and I use conductive thread to connect the lights and the sensor to the microcontroller unit that changes the way the piece glows depending on how light it is in the room. Okay, so this is Joe Savidra's Game of Life hoodie. It's the Game of Life played above your heart, by your heart. It measures your heartbeat with a little infrared finger doohickey, which then resets the Game of Life every time your heart beats. And you can find more about Joe's work at mysweetwebsite.com. Hi, I'm Zach Hoken, and I make robots. Uh, this robot, his name is Mr. Dumpy, and Mr. Dumpy is a passive-aggressive coffee table. His main purpose in life is to stay completely clean and free of objects. Except Mr. Dumpy also wants you to use him as a normal coffee table, he just doesn't want to become all cluttered with junk. So the way the robot works is there's an Arduino, and the Arduino is wired up to a stepper driver. And so the stepper driver controls this motor here and makes the motor rotate really, really slowly. So the motor is in turn connected to this pulley here, which rotates the conveyor belt. And so the conveyor belt serves as the surface of the table. And so we, I programmed it so that this surface of the table will do one revolution in an entire day. So when you're using it normally, you will, won't even be able to tell that it's moving. But if you leave your stuff on the table for more than an hour or two, it'll end up in the bucket on the end. And thus, the table will remain clean for the next person to use. So, since it's so hard to tell that the, ro that the table's actually moving, we built in a turbo mode, so that increases the speed 100 times so that you can see the movement. So, I will demonstrate. Now it's rapidly moving and pushing all of the cups to the end of the table and dumping them in a bucket. It's a friendly helper robot that will help you keep your place clean. This is a piece by Aaron Koblen and Michael Chang, and this is visualizing Java data crashes. 
and Aaron Koblen is well known in the processing community for flight patterns, sheet market, and the Radiohead video. Um, we're having people dig themselves in to the party, so okay, just so get the button on the board there, so hopefully it'll work. Oh yeah, yeah, just make it Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Which is <laughs> 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 kind of has a mind of its own. <laughs> 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 <laughs>